Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use the on click event to change the content of an element in HTML. This is a fundamental skill for making your website page interactive and dynamic. So let's get start. So first, we will create a simple HTML st structure with paragraph and a button. So now here, so I will create HTML file index dot html at enter now create a boilerplate at enter and here in the body section first i will create div and inside the div i will create paragraph and button so the div class will be container at enter and inside this div first I will create paragraph so for paragraph we use p tag at enter and the text will be this is the original text so I will give a id to this p tag id will be text now after this i will create a button button and the text will be change text and i will give a class to this button so the class will be btn and uh, I will call a function so on click hit enter and the function name will be change text and brackets so in this example we have an html document with paragraph element and a button the paragraph has a id attribute set to text and the button has a class attribute btn for styling and on click attribute to specify the javascript function text change change text to be called when the button is clicked now i will run this on browser go live so you can see the button and the text is created now i will design this using css so i will minimize this and in the head section i will link css file so link enter and uh, file name will be style dot css when we hover on this style dot css text so it will generate follow link so you can see the follow link so when i click this follow link so it will create a css file for us so create file so you can see the file is created now i will save this in html file Control s now first we will select body so body curly braces hit enter so I will give this play flex hit enter align item center and justify content center a height 100 VH hit enter control S now you see on browser so it will in the center of the browser page so you can see this is in center now I will select container dot container curly braces hit enter and i will give only one property text align center after this we will select paragraph so we will select from p hit enter and uh, i will give font size 20 pixel and uh, margin bottom 20 pixel after this we will design button so we have a class for button btn i will select from this btn class dot btn for the braces hit enter first we will change background color background color hash for ca 
after this we will remove the border so border will be none and uh, color white and I will give some padding 10 pixel and uh, 20 pixel text align center display and line block and cursor pointer and the last I will give some border radius 5 pixel control s now let's see on browser so you can see the button is designed so now we will add a function that will be called when this button is clicked this function will change the text content of this paragraph now we will go to index.html file in the bottom of this file we will create script tag hit enter now we will write function so function hit enter change text and uh, curly brace after this we will select this paragraph from this id so here document dot get element by id hit enter brackets and uh, single quotation and id is text dot text content is equal to single quotation this is the new text this javascript function change text selects the paragraph element by its id and change its text content to this is the new text now let's open the browser when we click this button you should see this text of the paragraph change now i will click this so you can see the paragraph is changed this is the new text i will refresh and check again so i will click this so you can see the paragraph is changed so that's it we have learned how to use the unclick event to change the text content of an element in html this technique can be used to manipulate the dom in various ways to make your web page more interactive if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more fun and interactive web development tutorial thank you for watching and see you in the next video